It's the start of a new year, and two things are at the top of most people's resolutions list, and one of them is losing weight. In this video, we'll talk about three reasons why weight loss should not be your priority. Weight loss is a popular and understandable goal a lot of people have. In order to make it happen, your plan probably involves some diet and exercise modifications. And that's definitely a critical part of losing weight and changing your body composition. But the truth is, you really shouldn't be going after weight loss. You should be going after what's on the other side of those diet and exercise modifications and on the other side of the weight loss. Let's talk about what those things are. Before you start losing pounds, one of the changes your body will go through with a cleaner diet, fewer sweets, and more exercise is an increase in insulin sensitivity. Insulin is the hormone that regulates blood glucose and helps store energy in your liver, fat cells, and muscles. The more sensitive to it your cells are, the more metabolically healthy you are. The more resistant your cells are to it, the higher your chances of developing chronic diseases such as type 2 diabetes, fatty liver disease, and heart disease. And the harder it is for you to lose any of the weight you initially set out to lose. If you can manage your insulin sensitivity, not only do you manage your weight on a long-term basis, but you manage your risk for very dangerous but preventable diseases that cost billions in healthcare expenses and cost millions of Americans their quality of life. Another benefit that's much more important than the pounds you lose is the time you'll gain. A clean diet, especially when paired with exercise, slows down the aging of cells and improves your body's ability to fight oxidative stress. The meals you'll eliminate on your weight loss journey will likely be ultra-processed foods that you will replace with more whole foods rich in antioxidants, such as berries, leafy green vegetables, beans, and certain spices. In addition, the lean muscle you build and maintain protects your DNA and keeps you flexible, strong, and less likely to experience an injury. Finally, and much more important than how you look, is how you feel. Regular exercise is associated with higher releases of hormones which have a positive impact on your mood. Exercise helps to balance your body's levels of stress hormones, such as adrenaline. Adrenaline plays a crucial role in your fight or flight response, but too much of it can damage your mood and your health. It's true that weight loss is possible with a better diet and consistent exercise. It's all but certain that if your meals consist mostly of real food in appropriate portions and you consistently engage in movements that cause your body to build endurance and lean muscle, you will experience a decrease in weight gain and ultimately see weight loss. But it's not the weight you need to lose. You need to lose your ways. When you set a goal to lose bad pounds, you follow it up with a plan that makes you lose bad practices. Better practices lead to better hormone management higher disease prevention, improved anti-aging processes, and several other benefits that are much more important than lower weight. But the good news is you still get the weight management you wanted because you've eliminated the habits that cause the conditions that cause the weight. But by focusing on the more important benefits, you end up with a much stronger and more fulfilling reason to stick with it for the long term. Make sure you are subscribed and getting notifications on this channel so you can keep all aspects of your health journey in focus. Meals, movement, mindset. 